last time. I don't care what you Where say you if you're in New York City. You gotta buy a ticket. <laughs> Later, guys. Let's talk about my today let's talk about my new cell phone I got the Note 8. Now the only review anybody's really interested in when it comes to the Note 8 is the Note 8 versus the iPhone 8, which I happen to have right here. I'm just kidding, this is, this is. Because the new iPhone's not out yet, and that's really all I care about is this versus the new iPhone, I'm not gonna do a comprehensive review. Instead, think of this as like a first look, and then I wanna tell you why I like phones and computers with stylus is stylized, stylus. And as always, in the name of transparency, please know that this review is extremely biased. While I was not hired or paid by Samsung to make this video. I have worked with Samsung in the past. I'll work with Samsung in the future. So this is a biased video. Size. Now, the Note 8 is objectively a gigantic, gigantic Phone. It's the biggest phone that I could find in my arsenal. It's huge. In a kind of direct side-by-side -side comparison, it's a little bit bigger than the S8 Plus. It's a lot bigger than the S8 Regular. It's a lot bigger than an iPhone 7. I don't have an iPhone 7 Plus, but that's like, you know, that's like this big. You could like swallow an iPhone 5. It's big but I wouldn't say it feels too big in the hand. In fact, it feels really good in the hand. And my jeans, which fit pretty tight, it still slides in there nicely. You know, it's a big phone, but compared to like what we have in our pockets anyway, but the feel, the feel is really good. It has like a heavy density to it, to it, a robustness to it that it feels good. What I do want to talk about is the idea of a big screen phone with a stylus. For me, that's the magic recipe. I don't know why, I think it's probably like the tactile nature, being able to actually use my hand to draw something. If you notice, I've been doing some of my vlog credits in my own handwriting. I've been doing that on my iPad using Procreate, it's amazing. Quick aside, Apple, there's nowhere to put this $100 pen. I, I, you can sort of put it there, but like, where's it now? It's gone. I don't understand that. I've had to buy three of these things so far. Samsung gives you this little sleeve, which isn't so pretty, but it's functional. And then on the surface, they've got this really confidence-inspiring magnet. This thing's not going anywhere. But Apple, where am I supposed to put this thing? I think a big part of it is that I've got really fat fingers. Look at the size of my fingers. They're like hot dogs. And that's especially a big deal when I'm trying to touch Use the touchscreen on a smaller phone like this. Like, look how much of my fingers are too fat. It feels inarticulate, non specific. Like, I disagree with Steve Jobs on this one. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. But the stylus, whether it's on an iPad or a tablet or on a phone, it enables like another level of interaction. I wish that this laptop had a touch screen because, and that Final Cut Pro was optimized for like stylus because if I could interact with my media when editing video like this, instead of down here with this, I feel like it'd be much more effective. Hey Z. No, give me a ride. Hold on, don't turn, don't turn. You give me a ride? Yeah. Chris. Chris, nice to meet you, Chris. It's more than just the stylus. I like the stylus, the stylus is important. When you combine the stylus with having something that fits in your hand like a notebook. I'm with you guys all day, man. Sorry, man, I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> What's good? What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm right. Thanks for the lift. No problem, buddy. It's more than just a detail. Think of typing, for example, or, or data entry on a phone. 
Without a stylus. Without a stylus, this is how you type. With a stylus, this is how you type. And to me, that's a more elegant, more organic way of interacting with something. It's exactly how I'd write if I had a notebook and a pen. And then if you take that idea and you don't just look at typing, but you sort of look at... Take photo editing, for example. There's this, which feels precise, and it's almost like using a mouse and a cursor. And then this, where my fat fingers get in the way of whatever I'm trying to do. I know that's more of an argument for the stylus than it is for this exact phone, but this is like the seventh iteration of this thing that Samsung's done, so it's actually integrated across the software here, which makes it, now I should caveat that by saying I still haven't really used this thing, but the Note 7, the one they recalled, that was my favorite phone ever. I do, I do, thank you very much. Got it, thank you. See, what I want, what I want from a phone is for it to act more like a computer. Remember the Palm Trio? That phone had a keyboard and a stylus. That felt like a little computer. I mean, that thing sucked compared to today's phone standards, but the way you interacted with it was more computer-like than this. Going to us. Uh, Santa Monica. See, you can get work done on these things just by using your thumb and hammering away, but in a pinch it does act like a computer. You can actually get work done on here. So that's it. My thesis is more based on like the Note as a phone less than this specific one because I haven't actually played with this much yet, but I hope it makes sense and it, it is like my, my favorite phone. I'm happy to have it back. Maxi, you see it? Do we have the same shirt on? Okay, that's perfect.